Femoral neck stress fractures are another subset that we'll, uh, you're likely to see questions on. <clears throat> this one is a 22-year-old college cross-country runner who developed hip and groin pain that initially uh, started while running, but is now painful when walking across campus. Radiographs show no evidence of stress fracture. Alpha angle of 45 degrees and a lateral center edge angle of 30 degrees, both of those uh, are normal. An MRI shows focal intense marrow edema in the superior lateral aspect of the femoral neck. Uh, it asks what is the most appropriate treatment. As we'll see, uh, most of these stress fractures can occur either as a tension fracture or as a compression-based fracture. The ones that occur on the lateral, um, uh, superior lateral aspect of the femoral neck uh, can lead to uh, potential displacement uh, and uh, consequently um, fixation, operative fixation, uh, rather than uh, continued non-operative management is the recommended uh, treatment of choice. So <clears throat> fractures um, of the uh, stress fractures of the femoral neck, again, I mentioned two types, compression side, which is on the inferior medial aspect, and tension side to the superior lateral. These occur as a result of uh, repetitive loading, uh, causing the microscopic fractures uh, ahead of the uh, healing initiative. And, and a female athlete uh, can be associated with a female, uh, female athlete triad of amenorrhea, eating disorder, and osteoporosis. And I, I suspect your question may well uh, give you one or more of those uh, findings or, or, or possibly uh, query you to uh, ask for uh, those uh, associated conditions. Um, uh, when you're dealing with a femoral neck fracture or a stress fracture in a, in a um, female athlete. With regard to radiographic evaluations, commonly you will not be able to see any, um, uh, any uh, lucency or, uh, in the cortex, either medially or laterally, until they've been chronic. Uh, MRI is a recommended treatment of choice for these. Uh, it's highly sensitive and specific. Um, bone scan uh, is uh, sensitive for the presence of bone uh, for a stress fracture, but it doesn't give you uh, the spatial uh, localization uh, as well uh, and is not nearly as specific uh, as a MRI. So MRI is the treatment of, uh, is the imaging uh, of choice. Patients that have compression-sided um, stress fractures uh, that uh, on the medial aspect and in which the uh, the fracture line uh, is less than 50% of the width of the femoral neck uh, are indicated for non-operative crutch uh, treatment management, the cessation of their, uh, of their activity. Um, again, in those circumstances, particularly with a female athlete, you want to uh, in, ask about uh, nutrition and you want to uh, assist uh, uh, and ask about uh, whether they're uh, having the menstrual cycle. And those uh, in which it's attention side are greater than 50 percent um, uh, fixation with percutaneous screws is the uh, treatment of choice. Femoral neck uh, stress fractures uh, can be complicated um, by uh, severe disabling injuries that really preclude those athletes from returning to uh, their sport uh, if they're allowed to go on to uh, displacement. And with displacement, we can see the sequelae that we would commonly see with other uh, uh, femoral neck fractures, such as uh, avascular necrosis, uh, non-union, and potential refracture. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. We'd love to hear your thoughts and what you'd like to see next in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media.